Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia, if you've never been here before, but if you have, hi girl, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back. You guys, today we are in Rome. I am super excited to be in Rome. It's like mind-blowing, honestly, that I'm here. It's so pretty, the room is beautiful, the streets are beautiful. We're about to go explore it. I can't believe it, I'm so excited. And literally just from the station to our room, we've had so many beautiful things that I am mind-blown so far. Rome is my favorite and we haven't even explored it. So we're gonna go explore right now, but I'm I'm just so excited to keep seeing it. Alright guys, so we made it to our first little gelato place in Rome. This place is called Latte and they have a bunch of yummy yummy flavors. We were here too busy eating our gelatos, but we got lemon, strawberry, and mango. And they were super delicious. We also got this little ice cream sandwich. Really, really good as well. I think we got like a cookies and cream one. Don't mind if I do. Delicious. You guys, those were some of the best gelatos I've ever tried in my entire life. They were so good and so creamy and so fresh and so everything. Okay. Okay. They were so good. We're coming back again tomorrow. And everybody's so nice. I love Ro. Except Pinterest lied to me because they told me to dress like this. But they were dressing fancy here, you guys. I'm so bad. <laughs> I couldn't wear my good dresses. I love Rome. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. No. This tiny little car. <clears throat> you guys, look at this tiny little car. You guys, I love Rome. I'm just gonna say it right now. You guys, we're on our way to the catacombs, which if you don't know what that is, is where they used to put the dead people. So we're gonna go see skeletons, but I'm excited because I really like all that creepy stuff. They should let me record in there, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I was wrong. They did not let me record inside of the catacombs, but I will be showing you guys some pictures that I found online. Just a fair warning, if you guys are sensitive to the topic of seeing human remains, please skip to this time right here. I do not want to make you uncomfortable in any way. Hi guys, editing Julia here. So we'll be showing you guys two pictures pretty, pretty quickly. So the catacombs are basically graveyards that are underground. So back then in Rome, um, you weren't necessarily buried or put in a tomb unless you were one of the rich. So if you were one of the commoners or um, you were just didn't have the means for it you would be put in one of these catacombs okay so this picture that you see here is just tombstones where people are just laid to rest however they are up on a wall so they're not technically laying they're like standing it's an interesting sight to see especially because these were once people also and i had um some mixed feelings about it i know at first i was very very excited to actually go into the catacombs like i said i do like all that creepy stuff but keeping in mind that these are real people unfortunately being put on display now um, it didn't really sit right with me after that, but here is the first one. So they do have a quote once you enter the catacombs and once you see the first display of, um, bodies, which I believe are monks. There's a quote that kind of hit me a little hard, which is, it's kind of scary to think about, but it's true. And the quote says, what you are now, we used to be. What we are now, you will one day be. And that's true and that's scary because... We will soon also be bones. I don't know. <laughs> it's scary. Alright, so moving on to the next picture, which is where things started to get a little weird for me. And I <sighs> no longer felt that curiosity of seeing the displayed tomb tombs of people. It was with this next picture here. So here we see some monks, I believe. And the reason why I just started to get like weird a little bit was because... Of all the dismembered bodies you see as you can see um, they use skulls as decorations they use they pretty much dismembered people as decor and I don't know that just kind of didn't really sit right with me so after that um, the next few rooms we passed were all like that they had a few bodies displayed and they had a few full bodies just like laying displayed and then all around them even on the roof there was completely covered in like human bones human remains which was like i said a little a little scary a little unethical so 
yeah I, I didn't leave <laughs> I didn't leave there with the same excitement as I went in it just wasn't what I expected but that was essentially the catacombs and next up we went to the went to the Spanish steps which I almost got scammed y'all I will tell you guys a story you guys I couldn't bring you into the catacombs because it didn't allow filming in there but we are now in the Spanish steps and it is super humid out here you guys it's so pretty here i feel like i'm in a movie or something makeup is now melting off Let me tell you guys a story about these flowers. So some man came and he was like, here, free. And I was like, no. And then he was like, here, free. And I was like, no, no. In the middle, puso la mano. He just put it in my hand and he was like, here, free. And I'm like, okay. And then he's charging us for them. I'm like, oh. Moral of the story is, do not take free stuff from strangers. Oh my God, my dress. Look at those doors. Damn, you want a glass of wine? I think these. Guys, we're souvenir so shopping as always. Little magnets, super cute. Oh my gosh, the little vest, but I have to take this. Gladiator. And oh my gosh, Pinocchio. I didn't even know he was Italian, y'all. What? I have to take these. I took like three of those. Not the condoms. I just thought they were funny. I thought the quotes were funny. Okay. <laughs> if you guys know something about me, I love chocolate. So I had to try this rose one. Making a wish. Making a wish to come back. To Rome and live in. Ready? I'm coming back. Alright, guys, so here's the end of the night of day one in Rome. We stopped by to this restaurant to eat, but the lighting was very romantic vibes and it was very dim and dark so the lighting is not the best but we had some delicious food we had some lasagna we had some pizza very very delicious hi guys so we just woke up i look like a hot mess i tried to film as much as i could yesterday but a lot of the places we went to like the churches or uh, like the catacombs they don't let you film in there which kind of sucks but i tried to film as much as i could of what i could show you guys and it's so so beautiful but funny story so ignore my hair I had like a little short dress on so Ovi they were not gonna let me inside the churches like that but and I knew that I brought a long dress but I thought it was just gonna be for Vatican City that I needed to have my toda tapadita but no so <laughs> I had to buy this fancy schmancy like robe thingy so I can it looks like a cap and gown like a little robe thingy so I can enter the churches to cover my legs Vergüenza. Vergüenza. It's 5 in the morning right now. We're researching, seeing what we're going to do for the day, and just catching up on tasks. Hi guys, editing me again. So I decided to make 
the Rome vlog into separate vlogs because it's just so much. So I'm gonna end it here. Tomorrow we go to the Vatican. I'll see you guys at the Vatican. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.